Hey kids, it's Pastor Eric and Liella. We wanted to do a little video for you today from our chicken coop and a little lesson that uh, we think might be meaningful to you. Um, so enjoy. And we just want you to know that we love you and we miss seeing you every Sunday. You're a part of our church too. Love you guys. Yeah, you're special and we know God loves you. And we just wanted you to know that we love you as your pastors. And we're grateful for all the kids. Enjoy a little tour and a chance to meet our chickens in their chicken coop. And Miss Liella will be uh, showing you some of that here as we get ready for that. Okay, so one of the fun things we do with our chickens is giving them a special treat. It's called cracked corn. And we throw that out and they love it. It's like candy. So I'm gonna go in there and give it to them now. Here we go. Hey girls. Want some yummy? Here you go. This right here. Here you go. Here's some more. So I'm going to tell you their names. Are you ready? So this one right here. This one is Twinkie. And this is Pippin. Over here. And this right here is Hawk. <laughs> and this is Ingle. And this one right here is Jedi. And that's Mary. And those are all the chickens. So this is the hay, or straw actually, that we use to lay down in their coop where they sleep to cover up the poop and stuff, which you'll see, and to make it nice and comfortable in there. And then we also lay straw in the chicken run because it gets kind of wet and muddy in there and they like to scratch around and look for stuff. So it's just more comfortable and gives them something to do during their time in their chicken run. So we need to fill up the chicken food and we keep it in this container that the lid screws on because the chipmunks like to eat it too. So we keep it in here. And this is their food container so they can come to each of these holes and eat the food. So I'm gonna fill this up now. Two more things that chickens need to be healthy. One is oyster shells. Isn't that weird? That helps with calcium and helps their egg shells be hard. So we put it in a little feeder. It's like the big one, only smaller. And whenever they want to, they just come and get oyster shells. And then the other thing that we use is called grit. And it looks like little rocks in there. And chickens have a pouch that they digest their food in and the rocks, this is true, they swallow them and the rocks help them grind their food up. So we also put one, a little thing of this in their run as well. And they eat that when they want to. All right, so here we are giving the chickens some water. And this is a spigot that gets water from our well underground. This would probably be a good thing to explain too. This is new that I just put this up. This here is an electric wire fence. And we had to we had to put this up because last September we had a bear that came and got inside the coop and ate all the chicken food. So hopefully if he comes back, it's turned off right now. You never want to touch one. But if he comes back and tries to go this way, he'll get shocked. It's not a shock that hurts him, but it's a shock that's strong enough to probably 
convince him not to come back. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're hoping, that Mr. Bear will get shocked, then he'll go away and the chickens will be safe and he won't ruin our coop or eat our chicken food or eat our chickens. All right, <laughs> who's ready for some loves? This is Mary mm -hmm. and Pippin. Okay, Pippin likes to be held. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Oi. Oi. Yeah. Just want some loves. Everybody's coming up. Say hello. Okay. You're looking pretty good. Okay. Sorry. Who else wants to say hello? Huh? Come here. Come here. What's up? What's up? Huh? There's Twinkie. Hello. Come on. Twinkie stinky. Whoa, she's like There's not one. having it. You ready for some fresh hay, girly girls? Okay. This is the hay that we got from the barn. Look at they're ready. They're like, yes, please. See, we have this tarp that's covering the coop during the winter so the snow doesn't come in. And here we go. Yay! They're like, oh my goodness, let's scratch it, scratch it. Woohoo! They love to scratch it, look for bugs. And it helps with reducing the smell. Yep. Then we just, we rake it all out and put it outside to get ready for gardens. Mm -hmm. Do you see them scratching? Watch, watch what they do. You scratch the ground to move it around and look for bugs. Show us, Ingle. Show us how to scratch. There. Go over here. See how they scratch? They move the hay to look for bugs. It doesn't necessarily mean there are bugs, but... <laughs> or food <laughs> or kinda, whatever. They kind of think there is. During the winter or summer, it's more... It also go. helps it so it's not so muddy. Yeah. And when it's really cold, it helps with keeping their feet warm. Yep. And there we go. What do you think, Hawk? Pretty amazing? What do you think, Twinks? Oh, yeah. Now we're gonna get the eggs. And behind this is where they lay the eggs. Let me show you. So we put in a ping pong ball and they think it's a good place to lay the eggs when we do that. So there's two in that one. Put them in our little box. Our little bag. And there's one in this one. And this is the favorite box they all like. And the there and there. Oh, there's only two today. Ooh. And two more. I got the eggs last night. So we've got five eggs. One, two, three, four, five. And why do they use the boxes to lay their eggs and not just anywhere? Because they like to make little like nests 
And so if we didn't have these boxes, they'd still make their own little holes to lay the eggs in. But if we have boxes for them, then I know where the eggs are going to be, and they're just easier to get. Mm -hmm. All right. Hi, kids. We wanted to close with a verse out of Psalms 91, 4, that fits with our chicken uh, tour today. It says this, He will cover you with his wings. You will be safe in his care. His faithfulness will protect and defend you. Psalms 91, 4. And that's a beautiful picture of a, like a mother, our chicken uh, tour today. It says this, He will cover you with his wings. You will be safe in his care. His faithfulness will protect and defend you. Psalms 91, 4. And that's a beautiful picture of a, like a mother chicken who brings her little chicks underneath her wings and hides them underneath her to protect them when any predator like a big hawk or something flies overhead she calls her little chickens and they come running and they go right underneath and are protected by her and she would sacrifice herself for those little chickens if she had to because she loves them so much and that's a great picture of how we can run to god when we are afraid or when we need protection that he is not a chicken but he's like a chicken and he will wrap his arms around you and give you comfort and give you counsel and help you with your anxieties or your fears or anything that you are going through in your life. So we just wanted to encourage you today with a little tour of our chicken coop and all the things that we do to care for the chickens and then encourage you with a scripture today. Hopefully you can use that verse, Psalms 91.4, in your own prayer time or read it with your parents read it for yourself in the bible we wanted to say goodbye we love you and hope that you enjoyed our little chicken coop video and miss liella do you have any closing thoughts i'm hugging you ready i'm coming in oh that was a big hug <laughs> have a great week miss you guys we do miss you god bless you and your families Bye bye